Hello, and welcome to Fort Thought. I'm Dean Bertram, and I'd like to invite you to sit a spell here with me in my cabin deep in the North Woods and to open your mind to an alternative idea about the paranormal, because the late, great Charles Fort would have wanted you to. In last week's episode, we chatted about the plethora of strange entities and anomalous phenomena that haunted my state of Wisconsin, and indeed an equally bizarre assortment of Beasties and apparitions probably haunt your neck of the woods. We also threw out the idea that what if this seemingly unconnected array of weirdness was actually just different manifestations of the same root phenomenon. Tonight, we're going to look at a hypothetical model that illustrates just such an idea. It was first suggested by Jacques Vallée, I believe in his essential book, Messengers of Deception but he's also chatted about it in a number of other places. And it also bears a striking resemblance to Plato's famous allegory of the cave that anybody who's ever taken a Philosophy 101 course or something similar has had beaten into their head. But back to Valet's model, which I'm going to term the Imaginarium of Dr. Valet because it sounds catchy and, yes, I admit, I stole the title from uh, not particularly related (laughs) Terry Gilliam film. But for a moment, imagine that when you see or experience an anomalous phenomenon, whether it's in the deep woods or whether it's on a deserted highway or whether it's at the end of your bed tonight, that it's kind of like you're sitting in a darkened cinema. So you see before you, let's say, a UFO or maybe the Virgin Mary, perhaps a lake monster or even everyone's favorite hairy hominid Bigfoot. But just like in a cinema, what you're looking at isn't the reality of the phenomenon. The real technology or entity or psychological mechanism or whatever it may be isn't what you're seeing. That's actually out of sight. In the case of the cinema, it's behind you in the dark, in the projection booth. And what Valet said he really wanted was to somehow catch a glimpse, to have a sneak peek of what was inside that projection booth. And I have a few ideas of how we might be able to do that, which I'll present in some episodes a little bit down the track. But in all honesty, I think it's probably highly unlikely I'm ever going to get that sneak peek. So what's probably going to haunt me until I take my final breath is when somebody actually sees a UFO or the Virgin Mary or Mothman, or a Spectre, or a Pterosaur, or a Dogman, or a Lake Monster, or Bigfoot, what's really behind the reality of that encounter, or so to speak, who or what is running the projector. We're going to spend the next few episodes looking at some different theories presented by a wide range of thinkers and theologians from different backgrounds and traditions, all of them offering a fairly different answer to that question. And I'm going to present each one like I actually believe it. And who knows, when I'm presenting it to you, maybe I really will believe it. Because as Charles Fort wrote in his last book, Wild Talents, not that long before he died, I conceive of nothing in religion, science, or philosophy that is more than the proper thing to wear for a while. Well, thanks for visiting. And until next time, Let me know in the comments section what you thought of the Imaginarium of Dr. Valet. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future episodes. But the most important thing of all is make sure, keep it weird.